Hi Aries, how are you doing? Welcome to your November reading. We're going to see what messages need to come through for you for the month of November. See what you need to look out for, get you some insight, get you some guidance, and overall see what's going on for you. If this reading is helpful or insightful, let me know by leaving a like, comment, and subscribe. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, the info is in the description box down below. And yeah, let's see what's going on for you, Aries. Let's see what spirit wants you to look out for, what's coming towards you in the month of November 2023. What do we have? We have the friends, we have the lady of the harvest, and we have the maiden. Okay, so so Aries, I'm seeing that there's some changes taking place in your friendship circle or the people that are around you. Um, there's some people fading out of your life, there's some new connections fading into your life, or like you know, there's just some changes taking place in the people that are in your close knit circle, okay? And I mean like that's like the shortest way to put it really like i could go on and on about it um but just, that's like the simplest way to put it what's at the bottom the pook that's the energy of shape shifting we have the singer of transfiguration and geo the slow so you know what i'm getting here you aries you've been going through some gradual change transformation for a while for quite some time um there's a lot that you can look at and recognize how much has changed how much is different than where you were six months ago a year ago like you've been going through a lot of changes you may not really even recognize yourself at times or looking back at old pictures old memories old photos you're like whoa like i look and have gone through so many things i'm different i'm not the same person as i used to be but it's been like a slow gradual process this has not been some sort of overnight change this has not just been something where you wake up suddenly you're a different person and you change yourself and your identity i mean maybe you have but like you know there's been steps to this transformation there's been steps to this progress to your journey and where you're at like you and now the fact that the north node is in your sign the south node's in libra for the next you know year and a bit from now to january 2025 y'all are gonna get sick of me saying this i swear but even from now to then you are undergoing a very very slow transition slow transformation where it may feel subtle it may feel almost like some of these little shifts little of these changes feel insignificant but in the grand scheme of things your whole life is really really shifting and as you're going through these changes internally and like spiritually and emotionally you're gaining a lot of wisdom like look at this guy look at this guy he's been around for a long time you're a very old soul whoever i'm speaking to all right i don't know there's just something about your energy especially in november where you're just feeling differently the way that you're approaching the way that you're showing up the way that you're presenting yourself is slightly different um no, your vibe has just changed. Your vibe is just, it's a little bit more different than it usually was or how you used to be. And so as you are kind of showing up a bit differently in the world and just how you are approaching and how you're feeling, the people around you is also kind of reflecting that. So we have the friends out here. You may need some assistance, some help from friends. There might be help coming in or you may need, <laughs> you may be needed is what I'm trying to say. Someone may actually need your help or your assistance. Spirit is really wanting you to surround yourself with those that uplift you, that support you, that want to see you succeed, that want to see you win, that want to thrive and grow with you. Okay. And so with Lady of the Harvest, this is that energy of well, it's harvesting all of your efforts. Um, we're in kind of harvest season right now. The changes are really starting to solidify of what we learn, what we've grown, what we've gone through from, you know, maybe like April, last, you know, earlier this year in April. So much has changed, so much has shifted, and you've learned so much since like your birthday season. We're halfway through the Zodiac year, um, a little bit more than half, honestly. And so with Lady of the Harvest, this is a time of change. This is a time of re releasing. It is an energy of letting go. And so you may be, with the friends coming out, you may be letting go of certain people that you no longer really resonate with. Or, you know, maybe you've just kind of outgrown. Or maybe there's a few friends that you've kind of gone separate ways. Or you've kind of just grown apart. And it's not to say that I think... 
sorry, there's like a loud bang in the background. Not to say that, you know, maybe there was beef or, you know, drama and backstabbing, betrayal. Not to say that any of that even happens. Sometimes you just go your own separate ways. You grow apart. Um, sometimes you come back around down the line. Um, but it's just, you're just on a different wavelength. You're energy has changed your frequency has changed and so of course that's going to shift the energy around you and the people that are around you now we have the maiden coming out and the maiden's all about newness it's about new beginnings um there's new connections that are forming that you are connecting to new people that you'll be meeting definitely i'm feeling like there's you know some newer people that you are starting to get to know they're going to become more poignant more more like main characters in your life very soon or over the months right maybe not throughout november they may kind of just still be side characters but over time uh you may start to notice that some of these people that you've met in november or you've connected with or you're starting to kind of talk to more around this time they're gonna be more long-term connections and relationships that are part of this new journey that you are embarking on so really interesting stuff let's move on to um some of the animal cards and let's see how you're kind of feeling about this and how how you are handling this wave handling this this transition so there's like a lot of reflection all right show me clearly what's going on for i was gonna call you libra <laughs> show me what's going on for aries sun moon eyes and venus in the month of november Thank you. What do we got? We have the dolphin. We have the peacock. Oh, the swan. Do we have a card that fell? Nope. So, people are looking at you differently this month. I honestly feel like looking at the dolphin to the peacock feels like two different energies. We have, I would say that this is your energy, Aries, where you're like very outgoing and you're bubbly and you're really optimistic and you're very cheery and showing up here like enjoying and loving and radiating a lot of positive energy very very positive very exciting very outgoing uplifting it's just beautiful this is a card of celebration this is a card of joy this is a card of happiness and gifts and blessings coming in too and then we have this peacock this peacock he's kind of like in this deck you know he kind of stern kind of serious this kind of be a little judgmental surface level and so the way that these cards came out i wouldn't typically read it this way but that's this is what i'm seeing here is people around you or some of the people that you have outgrown they're like looking at you like aries you've changed how dare you change how dare you stay the same i could say the same thing how dare you stay the same how dare i change oh how dare you stay the same? I'm just kidding. But like, you see the opposite energy? We have this circular, it kind of ripples outwards versus this peacock that's like straight edge, it's line, it's serious, it's it's kind of like neutral or maybe more negative, and I don't know. Like, it's just, you know, on two different pages, two different wavelengths. You know, and then also with the peacock, this is representing like your physical appearance. Maybe you've recently made some changes to, you know, your hair or your wardrobe or maybe you're exercising or, you know, you like something about your aura or your energy or the way that you present yourself is just shifted and changed. And it is drawing in a lot of attention. Eyes are on you. I do feel like you have a lot of admirers with the swan. Definitely lots of romance um, in the air, if you want that, uh, that's your choice. Um, I do feel like there's people that are interested or people that are admiring you, people that are in awe of you. There's a lot of people that are thinking about you too. You're, you're living rent free in other people's minds. Like <laughs> I'm just saying, okay. All right. So you may be finding yourself reflecting on some of these people too. At the bottom of the deck, we have the tiger, we have the hummingbird. There's something that you had intuitively felt a long time ago. Maybe last full moon. Last full, oh, that was the lunar eclipse in Taurus. Maybe someone around the lunar eclipse in Taurus, you had a sudden realization. The back comes out when this brings in change, clarity, realizations, epiphanies, letting go, embracing shifts, embracing transformation. 
hummingbird that's the energy of returning sorry i gotta flip these cards around because this is how i'm seeing it on the deck so there's you're returning to some sort of thought idea or clarity that you discovered recently you're re that, that's the energy of the hummingbird it's the energy of returning to something and the tiger this is about your intuition this is about um just like this inner knowledge this like magical foresight that you have and there's something here that your intuition was picking up on a while ago or maybe a month ago or maybe maybe even longer than that there's something here that you're looking back at and be like ah oh, see i knew it back then or i had a feeling about that way back in march or way back in april or whatever the fuck right you're like looking back at a time where you're like i knew this was gonna happen or i had a feeling like this was gonna take place or this was gonna fall through or fall into place or whatever the fuck but so your intuition was right about something um yeah i see you facing some sort of truth head on or even speaking your truth with like just saying it for what it really is not holding back all right so let's pull some tarot now let's see what else is going on for you okay show me clearly what's going on for aries summarizing venus in november I'm gonna just move these cards over here. What's going on for Aries, Sun, Moon, and Venus in November 2023? Any insight with some for Aries? With the Knight of Swords coming out. Some sort of news or information. This is sudden change. This is bringing, bringing in some sort of shakeup. Things are moving very quickly for you. You're kind of just going on and on and moving and going and you're just, life is just moving on. And so you're kind of like, you know, life goes on with or without you. My world still spins, you know, <laughs> it's like that's just how you are approaching. Also, the page of ones at the bottom, lots of new ideas, lots of inspiration that is hitting you, especially creatively. You're showing up very optimistic. All right. You may even have good news coming in, too. Let's take a look underneath that page of wands. The magician. Yeah, you may actually have some sort of good news coming in. Ten of cups. There could be some sort of celebration or event or party you're attending to or an invite to go somewhere. I see you attending something or like I feel like there could be um, maybe family involved or get together, or even love or romance or meeting someone's family for the first time. Um, you know, that kind of vibe. All right, tell me more what's going on for Aries in the month of November. So we have, A, there's your energy with the Emperor. Here you are. So, you know, you're feeling pretty in control of your circumstances and in your situation. Like, you're feeling, like, pretty on point when it comes to your money, when it comes to your business. You are experiencing big growth. You're experiencing progress, you know. You're feeling determined. You're feeling empowered. You're feeling strong in your strength. And you're just vibing. Like, this is your energy. You're in the freaking zone, all right? You can't, you know, no one can kill your vibe. Now, it does look like there could be something moving towards you. Maybe you have a new job opportunity that you're lining up or there's an opportunity to really get you to a higher level or to help you succeed or like branch out or expand in some sort of way i love that for you and also we see in the emperor in this deck there's a full moon so there could be something around the full moon in gemini where this opportunity might come in or land in your lap that's on the 27th of november if you want to mark that down all right tell me more what's going on for aries in november 2023 Thank you. We got strength reversed. <sighs> we have the devil at the bottom. Underneath the devil, Capricorn energy, five of swords reversed, and the six of swords. So I see this is an energy of you moving on from something that you may have felt like was a failure or a loss. So this is a, a different message, different little side story or side message or for whoever may need this. You may feel like you know something was a lost cause or something was a fail or something didn't work out or maybe you're kind of feeling disappointed with the results or the outcome but i want to let you know like you did all that you could you gave it all that you best you gave this all you could you did your very best aries don't give yourself a hard time don't beat yourself up don't get in your head or like you know beat yourself down over what has happened some things are beyond your control it shows you gave it all you got you gave everything, you gave your time, your energy, your money, your devotion. You really were committed to something. And for some reason, it didn't work. 
strength reverse and that's the energy where maybe you just need to take a break maybe you just need to take a few steps back um this now we have the devil at the bottom of the deck with the five of swords reverse maybe there's a little bit of self-sabotage here maybe this is the energy where you're getting in your head and you're feeling like what if i do all this what if i put in all this energy all this work all this effort and it leads to nothing you know like what if like that's something that you could be having a conversation in your mind five of swords in reverse this is the energy um with the devil well hold on six of swords underneath that hangman all right spirit is wanting you to kind of surrender to the things that are out of your control you may feel powerless at times with the devil and the five of swords reverse there might be things at times or in november where you may feel a bit powerless or where you feel like you know there's circumstances that are really testing your your faith and your patience or your your trust in yourself you're kind of needing to let the current take you to where you're meant to go where you're meant to be because whatever is truly meant for you won't pass you by don't forget that let's keep it going so let's just say whatever it is that you're working towards or again whatever relationships that you are growing or building or relationships that might be kind of slipping away just try and take your hands off the wheel and just let things happen naturally as best as you can tell me more high priestess let your intuition steer you in the right direction you got quite a bit of major arcana showing up in this reading so it's a significant significant time for you aries um yeah there's something there's a your, your intuition is guiding you towards something or even somebody two of cups at the bottom so maybe there's a spiritual connection that you're you have with someone or you're forming or you're building or there's something here let's see two of cups nine of swords the ten of wands so you're worried about someone or someone's worried about you i don't necessarily think that's being expressed though so if you're thinking a lot about someone or you're worried about someone maybe you need to talk about it maybe that's a choice two of cups two of wands the page of, literally page of cups maybe you should express your concern or if someone's worried about you they're kind of in this limbo of, should i should i reach out to aries should i talk to them i feel them slipping away i feel their energies shifted i feel their energies kind of changed like what's going on like maybe that's also the case right it's like you may have thought like oh this is over this is done but it's like no 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 like there's still love here there's still like you know maybe maybe you need to reconnect or reach out to someone that you haven't talked to in a while if you're like missing them or you're wondering like what's up or if you've been like anxious or stressed out about where you and someone else kind of stand um if you haven't really been talking much or you know maybe you've been just really busy someone's maybe just been really busy very overloaded with life and work and obligations and shit but you know i'm seeing like there's a lot of overthinking a lot of just being in your head and it's kind of like weighing you down or it's distracting you or it's maybe causing a bit of disruption in other areas of your life so maybe that's something that needs to be discussed or brought to attention or you know that might be something that you may need to talk about or there's something here that someone wants to talk about with you all right tell me anything else that Mary should know about in november like maybe someone's feeling a bit regretful going back to that strength reverse like damn this is a loss this was this didn't work out that fail like you know so we have the nine of pentacles and the lover so this there's there's definitely we have gemini energy out here we also have hyphen at the bottom there's something about a commitment or relationship here again more major arcana someone really likes their independence or someone likes to have space or time or someone here likes to be free okay so <clears throat> I don't know if this is you Aries or I don't know if this is someone that you're dealing with but there's someone here who likes to be kind of on their own um have their own kind of separate life and then of course the life with you or a life with someone here with the lovers there's this partnership there's commitment here but then there's also someone that likes to kind of have their freedom or their space or time to just be but so we have the hierophant seven of wands and the four of wands reversed someone wants to feel fought for someone's like maybe this is you you're feeling like someone's not fighting for you or someone feels like you're not fighting for them i just banged my foot <laughs> on the table hyphen seven of wands four of wands reverse yeah so someone's feeling a bit of the distance four of cups and a five of wands maybe there has been some distance maybe there has been some arguing some fallout some misunderstandings here two of swords four of swords lots of fours four 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 so if you're seeing that number extra message for you so four of swords the two of swords in the tower so a choice will be made someone here 
could be an earth sign we have virgo energy now popping up with the hermit someone here is withdrawn or kind of reserving their energy they're having a lot of realizations and whatever these realizations realizations are um it could be about what what needs to be communicated or some sort of action scorpio energy this is happening during scorpio season but so if there's been some sort of drama or fallout or misunderstanding or some tension between you and another person um I don't know, I kind of see, like, I kind of see someone still on the defense, or someone's not really um, softening up or backing down. Someone is, like, being a bit stubborn. Someone here being a bit stubborn, or isn't wanting to make certain sacrifices, I would say. Yeah, okay. Alright, is there anything else that we need to know? You tell me you have a choice on whether or not you want to stay single or get paired up with somebody. Whether that be in romance, whether that even be in business. Like, you know, you may have the opportunity to collaborate or work together with someone or just stay solo. Lots of different messages, y'all. Take whatever it is for you, of course. Messages for Aries in November 2023. Thank you very much. Hangman again. So much major arcana in this reading. Pisces coming out twice now in this reading with the High Priestess. Now this so you're kind of in the surrender mode. Like whatever happens, happens. Anything else for Aries? So Spirit is wanting you to take your hands off the wheel or kind of surrender. And also focus on yourself. Okay, Spirit gave me quite a few cards. Page of Cups is at the bottom, but let me see what these are. Four of Pentacles. We also have the World Reversed. I see you holding on to something. Let's see. Wheel of Fortune and then the Two of Wands. I see you holding back or holding on to something. There is a cycle here with the World Reversed. You may feel like there's unfinished business or lack of clarity, lack of answers. Um, you know, so you may be resisting some sort of change or resisting letting something go because you're like, I need closure. Or I want I want to know why this happened. Anyways, I see you making a choice here. Two of Wands to the Wheel of Fortune. Again, some sort of decision that will determine whether the wheel spins up or spins down is what I'm feeling from this. You're determining whether you're determining the direction of this wheel. OK. So it's a big choice. Uh, Page of Cups at the bottom, Eight of Wands, and then the Ten of Swords. Ooh, and the Star. Some of you have the desire to call it quits or put an end to something. Or you're hopeful that some sort of challenging cycle is over. Or you're wanting to put an end to something that's been painful. And you're hopeful that this is going to work. Or you're hopeful you can put an end to the pain and suffering by communicating. Page of Cups and the Eight of Wands. You may also be dealing with an Aquarius. We have Aquarius energy out here. So I'm seeing that there's some sort of breakthrough in communication, perhaps. And then we have the King of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. This might be in home, family, the sun. Could be with a Leo. I see a positive outcome here. And that there's rawness, there's authenticity, it's genuine. All right, so let's do a little bit of clarifying. So maybe that's where you're going to get some sort of closure or some sort of answer or clarity here. Hmm. What are you needing to surrender to? Let me look into this hangman. There's also something you're seeing from another angle or a different perspective that you were once seeing or right now how you feel about the situation by the end of november you're gonna see it from another perspective you're gonna you're gonna see things differently because of new insights new information and new even new talks new combos talk about the hangman for pice oh <laughs> for aries if you got any piscean placements what's up maybe our pisces moon listening talk about the hangman we have the knight of pentacles Trust the process. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, this is a slow, gradual. It's that slow, like from earlier, Geo the slow, right? <laughs> it's that same freaking vibe. So there's something here that's been slowly, slowly opening up. Can we get more info on this, please? Six of Swords at the bottom trying to come out. So there's been some unpredictability about this. Come with this hangman. We have Magician. 
two of cups trying to stick out so again could be bringing up some sort of connection here what else is that what is this six of, oh see it was meant to be six of swords see there's like this unpredictability kind of twist and turn so this has been something slowly gradually unfolding something you've been trying to manifest for a while now or call into oh call into your reality that knight of pentacles just fell right out so something's been taking a while to get off the ground or for a while to like fully come into fruition but i feel like whatever this is it's worth the wait or it'll be like it's gonna be worth it in the end we have the four of wands at the bottom so you're like you're in alignment you're taking the right steps um you're handling things very well again there's something about the full moon in gemini that could be important importance for a few of you empress and the moon yeah see so we have uh taurus and libra energy out here again with the empress so by the full moon you will have clarity on whether or not this path or this direction or this relationship or this job like is for you by this full moon by the end of november you should have pretty good indication of whether or not there's growth here and you should continue down this path or if you should if you should just like let this go well, let's see underneath the moon you have the chariot the ace of swords page of cups yeah seriously you're gonna be getting clarity i feel like it's probably in your favor i feel like it's what you're trying to manifest or what it is that you want i feel like that's what's what's coming in or i think that's what the outcome will be let's see what time are we at i can't even see 26 okay okay let's see what's this holding back okay four pentacles we look Sorry, four pentacles will reverse for Aries. What is Aries holding back from? Or? It's like you, you're trying to hold back from making the same mistake or trying to hold back from from what? What are you holding back from, Aries? The seven of wands. Yeah, from making the same mistake or by being judged or you don't want to be judged by your loved ones, by your family, by your friends. I see you could be holding back from your intuition or like ignoring your intuition here. You're hesitant to fully trusting what your intuition is saying. Maybe it's because people's opinions are getting in the way. Tell me more. Four of Pentacles in the world reverse. For Aries, Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, there's the, Ten of Pentacles. It trying to fall out in the reverse. So there might be a bit of instability in. Okay, in those around you. Um let's see eight of wands the eight of swords and the two of swords so you see aries like, oh oh my god <laughs> the eight of swords just flew out again in the reverse so aries you're wanting to move in a certain direction there's something you feel you in your gut in your heart you like you want to do or you want to pursue you want to explore you want to see definitely something you want to explore but you're you're holding yourself back there's this inner resistance here this is inner struggle you're kind of psyching yourself out here eight of swords to the two of swords you're going back and forth between this choice or this decision and part of this back and forth is because you're worried people are going to judge you for this going back to kind of like that dolphin and peacock energy of like you being judged by bending the rules or by you know the straight line versus the circles like being different than the rest or you know i feel that's kind of the reason why you're going back and forth can you can you tell me more about this world reverse and the four pentacles seven of cups yeah and then it's just creating confusion and it's just actually holding you back from what it is that you really want devil queen of cups and the three of three of pentacles you need to listen to your intuition here and the, you know what I will say? The people that truly love and support you, they got your back. Regardless of whatever you end up choosing, whatever you end up deciding. Even if you end up, let's say you, let's, let's say for example, I don't fucking know. <laughs> let's say, let's say you're going to make a choice that people are like, Aries, that's a stupid idea. Don't do that. You're going to regret it. Let's say you're like, fuck it. I'm going to make that choice anyways. It's my life. And say you make that choice. And maybe you do regret it. Maybe you got people that are like see i told you so it's like well the real ones will be like well hey like we still support you 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 did what's best for you this is your life we care about you like you know like you get what i'm saying like the real ones won't judge you for living your life like you know so if you're if you're really taking in everybody else's opinion on what you should do or how you should live your life don't try your, i know try your that's something that's gonna be hard for you to unlearn but the only way you can unlearn it is by 
trusting yourself and trusting your own judgment and you know you learn by doing these things that scare you so that's kind of what you're gonna have to do is like push through this fear here anyways at, at the bottom we got oh shit we gotta wrap this up tell me about this wheel of fortune let's just see what these changes are that you can expect and then i'm gonna let you go <laughs> wheel of fortune for aries what can aries expect in november what are these new changes coming in what are these shifts taking place for aries what can aries expect if aries were to just follow their own gut regardless of what people think tell me about the wheel of fortune what can aries expect the chariot dude you'll be flying forwards big time big 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 time big progress um ace of swords tell me about the wheel of fortune yeah you're gonna just feel more confident in yourself you're gonna just feel more certain in yourself and in your ability to make the right choices because deep down you know what makes you happy you know what you desire you know exactly what it is that you want and so that's something you just got to continue to just keep pushing through and pursuing because it's going to lead to your long-term happiness your fulfillment your joy so that's where you got to put your focus on that's where you got to put your energy towards your dreams your hopes your deep desires you know we have the knight of cups underneath so maybe this is about love um but this is letting yourself dream okay so you need to be a dreamer here <sighs> two pentacles underneath that and then another one so again a choice going back and forth and then do you let do you let other people decide for you see how you're getting all caught up in other people's opinions of what you should shouldn't do you need to trust yourself to make this choice cut those people out from making this choice you gotta decide <laughs> all right you gotta decide what's best for you you already know you've been thinking about it you've been dreaming about it you've been imagining this so don't let these like other people I'm, even if they have great intentions even if they're looking out for you even if they're trying to protect you or whatever but it's your life it's also your karma it's also <laughs> you know so like you gotta just trust yourself and trust your discernment all right aries i hope this is helpful i appreciate you thank you for your love and your support i am gonna let you go and i will talk to you next week all right so hang in there and i'm uh yeah bye <laughs>